Hi everyone and welcome back to my second video about ServiceNow and features inside it. Today I will show you how to make interactive filters on reports without having performance analytics. Uh, in my old company I got a lot of questions about people want to have different reports. For example they will have to have reports over open incidents we on a bar chart showing the assignments groups. Then another person would have pretty much the same report, but perhaps having the assignee instead of the assignment group, which led to a lot of different reports, pretty much showing the same stuff, but with different conditions or group by or stacked by. One thing you should know is that if you have performance analytics, you can do much cooler stuff with your interactive filters. And there is a great post about it, so I will link that on the community post so you can read about interactive filters. But still, you will have some interactive filters out of the box, which are these ones, which you can use to create interactive reports using these interactive filters. But that is not something I should show in this video. And as you can see, if you try to make your own while pressing new, you will say that, sorry, you need to have performance analytics to be able to create new filters. Pretty much as the incident KPIs, you can use as performance analytics as well. You can use them, but you can't create your own. So today we're going to create a report that we can put on the home page. As you can see, for example, this one, you can't change any values or conditions. You only can see what you get and you can press to drill down. To make this a little bit more interesting, I have created my groups with a group parent because some would like to group their assignment groups into different departments perhaps or something. So here we can see that software and hardware has the same parent called Wares. We got a few groups that have database as parent, etc. And this is, is just to show you on the reports for some data. And since it's on my personal developer, the amount of incident isn't so much, but I think you'll get the point. So let's head into the reports. Reports. And we'll call it interactive. Incidents. We will make a, a bar. And let's, for example, say that we only want to see the active ones. And then we don't want to, of course, group by active. We want to group by assignment group, for example. This one is nice, and this will satisfy some people. But then the next one comes and say, no, I want to group by assignment, assign to instead. And then you have to create that report for them. Do it like this, unless you want to give them access to the, this report so they can change them themselves. But then they have to know more information about how ServiceNow works. Otherwise they will create reports thinking they know what they will do, but it will show them something else. And some people might want to say, but hey, I want to have the assignment group, but I also want to stack by assign to. And then you got the third options. Now, what you can do is that you can create all this into one report and let the user themselves choose how they want to stack and group by. What you do actually is just hit this icon. Let's move all over assign to assignment group. And for my example, we also wanted to have the assignments groups parent. Uh, no. And let's run it. And as you can see now, we suddenly got these two drop downs at the bottom where you can say, I want to group by parent, for example. Then you can see my empty wares and database. And the stacked by will have the same fields to choose from as you choose over here at the group by, which meaning that I can have assignment groups, for example. Here I can see that where's we have hardware group six, software six, of course. You can also say that you want to group by 
assignment group and put in assign to. And you will get that report as well. So this is real nice for the for the user to themselves choose which kinds you want they want to have. So let's save this one. Let's head to the home page. Put it on the ITIL home page. And uh, here you can see it's my old one, <coughs> which is pretty much the exact same one. But now the user will have the group by, so they can choose here themselves how they want to group them. And this is my really short video about how to make some interactive reports and put them on the homepage. And I hope you will use them real good. Okay, thank you. Bye.